Y'all, Stephanie Sauer, if you tell traffic lady. Woo, it is a Sunday, indeed, indeed, indeed. I'm just getting home. Um, I'm taking my son back to school. Look at me, I look a mess today. <laughs> Actually, I just look, look regular, like everybody else does, without all the extra hoo-ha. So, what you doing? Getting ready for a great week ahead, you know? Yeah, I had a... I had a good day today. Everything was awesome. Some struggles. Some awesome. <laughs> it's a little combination platter. But the awesome always outweighs the struggles. So I thank God for that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So you just gotta oh, say, okay, he brought me through this before, something like this before, nothing like this before, but never let me uh, just be hanging so you know if he took care of you before he'll take care of you again and he has so he's blessed us a lot here at my house this weekend so i'm thankful 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 for that thank god thank god thank god so he'll bring you through you might be going through something today you might be great today you might be going through something tomorrow tomorrow is another day right but another day's blessing is also on the way for you so always remember never forget he got you. Just call on him, all right? So the Lord got us through this uh, weekend. <laughs> a weekend of lack, if you will, right? To make, make it a weekend of plenty. So I'm thankful, thankful, thankful. Anyway, hope you guys are uh, all right tonight. And, um, you know, get ready for a great week ahead. We're in our Lenten season. Our financial fast at New Birth is coming right along. Hopefully you've been doing that. Uh, as well, or something else for Lent for yourself. And uh, hey, we're in this Lenten season. We're going to keep going and see what is yet to come and what thus saith the Lord uh, coming up here pretty soon for you guys. So remember, it's excitement time. The best is yet to come. Everything is on the way. You are going to get to where you need to be um, if you're following him. He'll show you what you need to be doing. He'll reveal it to you. Always does. Always does. So I'm thankful for that. Anyway, you guys have an awesome Sunday evening. Wow, it's still sunlight at 710. <laughs> and we're going to get to uh, 730. I think the sun's going to go and right on out of sight. But, um, you know, I got a lot more work to do tonight for some classes. Starting a new class tomorrow. Georgia Military College, I'll see you. Dual enrollment students, free speech class. Be ready, be ready, be ready. Uh, Professor Stallworth's coming, all right? <laughs> and, of course, my SAE students, downtown Atlanta. I'll see you guys tomorrow as well. So lots going on. And, uh, hey, we just keep it moving, all right? Keep it moving. Keep it moving. If you feel like, I just got to curl up in a ball. I can't go anymore. I can't do it. Just remember, if he woke you up today or whatever day you feel that way, there's still more for you to do. There's still more for you. So don't ever give up, all right? Don't ever get up, give up. I've been there. I've been there many a day, <laughs> many a time. You know, sometimes I'm still there. So it is what it is. But, you know, you got to keep going. Keep speaking to yourself. Get yourself up. You don't have anybody to encourage. Encourage yourself. You got to encourage yourself and stay encouraging God. You know, stay faithful. Like, okay, I'm going to get through this. And how are you going to get through it? One thing at a time, one bite at a time, one step at a time. One something at a time. I got all these things surrounding me. All these things coming up against me. All these things I'm juggling. All these things I'm doing. How am I going to do it? You, you just get overwhelmed if you let them all uh, come on you at once. Just say, I'm going to get out of it one thing at a time. One step at a time. One bite at a time. One moment at a time. And then you need a moment to rest. Rest. You start feeling coming over you to be too much. Just stop to say, okay, this is where I have to stop for now. And then you come back and uh, hit it at it again. But little by little, you know, you can overcome uh, a lot of these obstacles that are in your path. And with faith in God, you can definitely overcome some things. So be ready to overcome, be an overcomer this week. You know, even if everything is going great, you never know what happens the next day. Prayerfully, nothing. But if it does, say, okay. I'm equipped for this. I can do this. I can do this through God. So uh, with him, all things are possible. And without him, we can really do nothing. So uh, I'm just looking forward to what is yet to come. 
and uh, what is coming for me this week, I have no idea. But I'm going to believe it's good. And if it becomes something challenging, I'm going to believe I can get through it because you wouldn't bring me to it not to let me get through it. So you might see me smiling all the time because everything is good because everything is good. Even though everything's not good, I know everything is good. All right? Because I got Jesus to get me through it. Everything is good. All things are working for my good. So, even if it's really awful today, just believe God, everything is good. Speak things that are not as though they were, speak them into existence. This is going to happen. That is going to happen. I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be doing that. You're going to let me bless somebody this way. You're going to let me bless somebody that way. I'm going to help so-and-so in that way, even though you have no visual proof of it. That's where faith comes in. So, uh, that's what we're looking for. All right? So, to speak over yourself tonight and tomorrow and whatever other day you come up against something. And when things are going great, keep speaking, right? And give him the glory because it's all through him that we get to do anything that we're able to do. All right, I'm going to end this now. I got work to do. Georgia Military College, I'm getting your class together. I'll see y'all in the morning. And tomorrow evening, I'll see SAE, my students there. And uh, uh, first thing in the morning, I'll be seeing you on the radio on uh, the People's Station, V103. Got Larry Tinsley's Gospel from 5 to 6 a.m. So definitely tune into that, V103, 103.3 FM if you're new in town. Also on Sports Radio 92.9 The Game with John and Hugh in the morning. That's 92.9 FM from 6 to 10. I got their traffic. And then I got the traffic updates on uh, News and Talk 1380. W-A-O-K, the voice of the community, good black talk radio, uh, coming from 6 to 10. From 7 to 10, it is the Reverend Dr. F. Keith Slaughter with the movement. That show is that show is on, on top of it. On V103 from 6 to 10, it's the morning culture with Frank Ski, Jade Nova, and JR. That show is hot. And, of course, on 92.90 Game, it's John and Hugh, John Fricky and Hugh Douglas. All my Philly peeps, Hugh Douglas of Philadelphia Eagles fame, hey. So he's got the morning show. Now, if you're not here in Atlanta, you can always listen on Radio.com app, Radio.com online, and click in Atlanta, and then click in, look for our stations, V103, Sports Radio 92.9 The Game, and WAOK. Also, Star 94.1, if you like to listen to Star. Star is another one. I'm not doing traffic on Star. But that's still one of our intercom radio stations here in Atlanta. So I got all that, but give God everything that's going on in your life. Say, Lord, I just can't do it no more. I can't hardly take it. I just want to lay down. I want to stay in my bed. You know, we get like that sometimes. I just want to stay in my bed. I don't feel like going anywhere. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to do anything. <sighs> just stop. Say, okay, I'm going to come up out of here. The time's going to come. And God, you got me. All right? You got me. So he's brought me a mighty long way, you know, over the years. Been through some tough times, you know, being a single parent and all. With three boys, three young men now. So, you know, just keep on moving. Don't give up. If you've been awakened and your eyes can open, it's not time to give up. All right? All right, this is Stephanie Stallworth, the ATL Traffic Lady. Have an awesome evening. I'm going to go get a little bit of more work done before I start seeing dark out here and say, oh, I got to go to bed. <laughs> and then, oh, I got to get up early and I'll start that rat race all over first thing in the morning. So I'm going to accomplish some stuff tonight, feel good about that, and then uh, get moving for tomorrow's work that is yet ahead. All right? But praise God from whom all blessings flow. He's just been... Better to me than I could even say. You know what I mean? He's just done some amazing things. and I could just go on and on. You know, on and on. That's my favorite Bible verse is Psalm 34. 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. At all times. That means if it's good or bad or in between. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. That means continuously. No matter what I'm going through, I still will bless God. All right? So... I don't know if that's one of your favorite verses, but if it is, hey, you're good. If it's not, check it out. Psalm 34 and 1. All right, it's Stephanie Stallworth, the ATL Traffic Lady. Here comes one of my sons saying, Mama, what you doing? 
All right, <laughs> let me go. He's like, I want some dinner. Let me go give these boys their dinner. Dinner's already cooked, so we're ready to eat. All right, you guys, you are up to date. See you in the morning. Bye.